Hi, I'm McKay. I'm McKay. I'm McKay. I'm McKay. Um, I am a drug addict. Addiction is a spiritual state where agency is restricted or lost. I hear many individuals come into our meetings who do not want to be there uh, for a variety of reasons. I came because somebody told me I had to. Many times they're looking down at the floor. They won't make eye contact with me. I had lost about 40 pounds, uh, was just gaunt, covered with bruises and needle marks, and basically had lost all hope. There's a heaviness um, to their spirits as they walk in that first week. I've seen opportunity for many individuals to seize the atonement, make it personal. Each second degree felony comes with uh, one to 15 years in prison. And so I was potentially looking at 30 years. And I don't know if any of you have ever thought about 30 years of your life. You know, step two is awesome. I really like how they talked about hope. Hope was something that I never had. It's 30 birthdays, um, 30 Christmases, 30 Mother's Days, 30 Father's Days. I was just tired of lying. It was a constant lie. My whole life was a lie to everybody. And God touched my heart and said, you need to let your wife know everything. Turning ourselves to the Lord, we get the opportunity personally to have the atonement work its miracle in our lives. In the scriptures, you hear about tender mercies from the Lord. When I walked into my cell, uh, there was a tender mercy sitting on the desk. And it was a Book of Mormon. Heavenly Father, continued to just keep blessing me to do all the things that I was supposed to do to make me happy. I knew what it was that made me so happy when I was a kid. And it was the gospel of Jesus Christ in my life. And right then and there, I fell to my knees and I begged Heavenly Father to forgive me. Step 12, having had a spiritual awakening as a result of the atonement of Jesus Christ, share this message with others and practice these principles in all you do. I have come to believe through this process that Christ wants to help us and He loves us. He wasn't hanging out with the people that were perfect. He was running and He was helping and serving and loving those people that needed His healing. I felt the atonement. I know that the atonement of Jesus Christ happened. I felt the burdens lift from off my shoulders. Last October was able to be rebaptized. And my, my kids were able to to witness that and see that Dad changed his life. The great hope in the program that I see so much is that through each of these steps, lives are changed. I am just truly grateful to know and believe that I am a child of God and that my Father in Heaven does love me. I'm grateful for, for my Savior and for the, the blessings He's given me. My name is Rod. I'm a recovering alcoholic and drug addict. I'm grateful for the atonement. I'm grateful for these steps and how they've changed my life. My name is Marty. I'm a recovering addict to pornography. I am Lisa, and I am a wife of a recovering pornography addict. I want to bear testimony that this program is necessary within our church. I know with the Spirit of the Lord and with the power of the atonement that He can make me whole. My name is Rich. I'm a recovering drug addict. I bear my testimony that recovery is possible 